I wanted a way to be able to watch movies from my iPad onto my TV when we were out camping and we were remote enough, we did not have a good signal, therefore streaming movies was not going to be an option. And plus, we wanted to save on our data. We do have Verizon and it is an unlimited plan, however, after so much usage, Verizon does tend to throttle us. So I wanted to make sure I could plan ahead and always have movies available for us to watch and we would not have to worry about our cellular connection. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what I did and how we can watch movies or any video content that we want. This is what we're using. We've got a lightning to digital AV adapter. And we've got an HDMI high-speed cable. Links for both of these will be listed in the description below this video. All right, let's get started. We've got my iPad, we've got the HDMI cable, and then we've got the Lightning HDMI. First thing we're going to do is on our remote, we're going to simply go from TV and we're going to click until we get to HDMI. And then we're going to click OK. OK, so now we're on the HDMI setting on the TV. Next, we're going to take this lightning cable and we're going to plug it in to the iPad. Next, we're going to take the HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI input from the lightning cable. Then we're going to take the other end of the HDMI cable right here and we're going to plug it into the HDMI port on the TV. We're going to take this end and plug it in right there. Now we've got the HDMI cable coming out and it connects to the lightning rod to the iPad and all of a sudden the TV is now showing what is on my iPad. So you can see this is my iPad screen and voila! There's the TV screen. So I'm going to click here, resume. I'm going to resume this movie. And you will see that it plays on the TV. When we look on my iPad, it now says, now playing on TV. And sure enough, when we look at the TV, the movie is playing. We had tried a couple other ways to do this, but the other methods didn't allow us to have volume. And as you can see from the remote here, I'm able to turn up the volume and control it from the TV remote. So volume works perfectly. If you want to watch movies on a bigger screen than your iPad, this is a great way to do it. I have downloaded the um, Amazon Prime Video app on my iPad. Once you open the app, right down here it says Downloads. These are the movies and videos then that I play from my iPad to the TV. Let's take a look at how many movies I can download or how much space is required to download movies onto your iPad. I have 17 videos downloaded for about 18 hours and 48 minutes of content. And in total, that's taking up about eight gigabytes of space on my iPad. So that's quite a few videos for eight gigabytes, just to give you a reference of how much storage you need on your iPad to download movies. 
So we could assume then that an average movie maybe is half a gigabyte in size. I am using Amazon as my primary movie download resource. However, if you have any movie or content that is on your iPad, it could be from Netflix or Hulu. This is a great way to download videos, movies, content that you want to watch while you are out camping. We do not watch a lot of TV while we're out camping. But there have been occasions when it's rained or it's gotten extremely cold because we love to do our winter camping that it's been nice to come in and watch a movie or watch a TV show that I have pre-downloaded onto my iPad. I am an Amazon Prime member, so I'm using my Amazon app to download and save videos, movies to my iPad. However, you can use any method that you want. It doesn't have to be Amazon. Any way you can get a video or content onto your iPad and you just want to download it so that you can watch it on your TV. What I've shared with you would work for any Apple device, your iPad or your iPhone. I'm assuming that there's similar technology for an Android device as well. The lightning adapter cable that I purchased was a $44 on Amazon and the HDMI high speed cable was $7 on Amazon. So I will once again, as I mentioned, link to these in the description below so that you have easy access to them. This has really worked great for us. If you have a different system or a different way that you watch videos, movies from your Apple device, I'd love to hear your suggestions. Please comment below and let me know how and what you're doing. I spend most of my time weekend warrior RV camping and would love to bring you along the adventure. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.